how would you describe your performance during the first third of the season? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, just um, starting the season off strong, um, getting in a routine, um, continue to do what I can to help the team win. But um, as a team, I think we had a pretty good start, laid the foundation, and now it's time to get in conference play. Just um, started off strong against Iowa State. What's it been like playing short? Yeah, it's still a different transition. Uh, definitely missed Grace up the middle, but whatever I can to help um, when someone's on in to fill in. It was nice to have Q and Avery at second with me just to get that going. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Maybe not surprise is the right word, but the way that Q did handle that transition. I had no surprise that she was going to do that well. Um, even at practice, she always just gives it her all, makes good plays, hits the ball when it needs to be hit. So I just think it was just like, like butter, smooth like butter with Q. But um, she just always just has a smile on her face, and I think that helps me at shortstop just to know, uh, makes me more relaxed, more comfortable knowing that she's right there. And then on that same, the same line, what the type of difference that you've seen in Jada? Um, I just think how relaxed she's playing. She's just one step ahead of the pitching that's coming. She knows exactly what's going to be thrown. Um, but she's playing a different game right now. She's definitely playing chess and not checkers. So being able just to learn from her, use that her mentality to make me better. So, um, But she's definitely just going out there and playing free. And then back to back, Jocelyn questions here. One, what's not what's it like not having Olo out there? But then two, what Erickson has brought to the table? Yeah, definitely miss Jossie being behind me, in front of me, wherever. Um, but just the person, player she was, definitely had a huge impact on who I am and the player that I am. Um, so definitely she's missed. Um, talk to her all the time. But having Jocelyn Erickson, I played with her in travel ball. So it's definitely an easy transition. I knew she was going to come in and have a killer start. But just to have her in that lefty lineup, just so much power um, between her. And she's, yeah, doing really well. Was that an adjustment for you, just going through those lineup and not having Olo there? Because I'm sure, do you feel like you're getting pitched differently, I guess? Um, I don't think so. I think it's more of just um, me staying ahead of the pitching, um, getting what I want and not falling into the pitcher's traps. But um, yeah, I don't think it's a huge difference um, with uh, me personally in the pitching, but um, definitely, you know, miss her bat in the lineup. Uh, y'all, you know, you mentioned earlier y'all are going into uh, conference play uh, this week against Iowa State. What's the mindset going into conference play that y'all might not have during that? Um, just coming in, we're here to win championships now. We're going to here for the Big 12 title. So just know that um, we're coming in with definitely a different fire, I guess. Now it's time to um, just start it strong, finish strong. But this is not where it really matters, but we laid the foundation of the first third season, and now it's just time to come in and win championships starting from here on out.